Alright, if you do, you'd be dinner and that beast is in the trunk. Yeah. You couldn't hit the side of a barn with that. Come, ready? Come on. I already bought a load of beef from them. And quite frankly, the price was right. So right that it might have been stolen? So right that with these people you don't ask questions. You don't want to cooperate with us, do you? Police officer, get him up there where I can see him. Come on, let's go. Get him up! How did you get in here? Your back door was unlocked. No, it wasn't. There's no need for us to argue, Mr. Ed. This is just a visit. If you've come to collect, you're wasting your time. I told your boss yesterday. I can't even meet the interest payment this month. Business is lousy, huh? Terrible. Take a look at yourself. No need to do that. I'm the bearer of good news. I'm not borrowing any more money. Not from you people. Who from? Let me ask you a question. What's your most expensive item after help? Beef. Figure 2,000, 3,000 pounds of beef per month, right? That's close enough. Why? I told you I had good news. We can arrange for you to buy all the beef you want. At one dollar a pound. Come on, man. That's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Think about it, Mr. Markham. Uh, where is this beef coming from? From my people. Where else? We have many interests, Mr. M. You know that. Well, it's a proposition worth considering. I've got to admit that. Good. You figure out how much beef you can use, then you give me a call. Figure three or four days for delivery. Right, Mr. M? Nice talking to you, Mr. Ren. Ellen? Uh, is the commissioner still awake? Now, this is Al Markham. Thank you. Mr. Stewart, I'm sorry to bother you at home and at this hour, but this is important. I've just been offered some stolen beef. Yes, I'm sure. Yes. Certainly, certainly, it can wait till you get to your office. 
I'll see you then. Hey, look, Al Marm's car is still in the parking lot. Come on, we better check it out. Trevor, you've been in there before. Too many times. But Al Markham, one of the nicest people anybody could ever meet. Yes, he was. Decent, honest. It's well, as far as we know, he was honest, yeah. Trevor, that was an execution in there. That was no hit and run. That was no accident. He, he's closed down twice in the past three years. Everybody knows he was, you know, had heavy financial problems. But don't you think he might have tried to save it with a big loan? He could have gotten mixed up with a loan shark, sure. Let me tell you something. Al had a lot of assets. I think they would have made a strong effort to collect before they'd have killed him. I mean, they just don't work that way. No, there's more to it than that. Yeah. It's got to be the stolen beef. Well, uh, you can interview the uh, commissioner. And I want a verbatim report on the content of Markham's telephone call. Okay. bank loans he was making payments on. A lot of red ink. I tell you, if he was in debt to anybody else, he sure didn't write it down any place. What about you, Pete? Did you find anything in last year's stuff? Well, I don't need to be an accountant to figure this one out. What comes in here, goes out here. Well, that's interesting. The phone's not working. Hi, fellas. Hi. Ray? How are you? Okay, I guess. I'm sorry about now. He's a good man. The best. Took me right out of college and gave me my first break. How's his wife doing? She's in pretty bad shape. Can't quite believe it. But she was not involved in the business, Bill. I've already told Pepper that if Al had any mob connections, I didn't know about them. I've been going through those books, Ray. Business wasn't good. Don't I know? I've had to lay people off, close a few of the restaurants for lunch, things like that. But we've had bad times before. It's always come through. Who's going to be in charge, yeah? Mrs. Markham asked me to take over, for the time being at least. I'll do the best I can. Look, if uh, there's nothing else, I've got quite a lot to do. Funeral arrangements. And, uh, Telephoning relatives. Sure, go ahead. Listen, if uh, we got any questions, we'll get in touch. We'll phone you. I want you to. I, uh, be in touch. Thanks, Ray. Nothing? Not yet. Take a look at this. What do you got, Jim? Wire got hooked over the cradle, would release it. Above? Yeah. This wouldn't be the work of the feds. I'd use a lease line. No, this looks more like something a private investigator would do. Yeah, but who would have hired him? Well, whoever was monitoring this thing sure knew about the phone call to the commissioner. Slide it over. Hey. I uh, see you all met with huge success. Mm. Hi, Pepper. Have a beer. Yeah, thanks. I tell you. Whoever back Markham's loans playing it very close to the chest. You talk to little Jimmy. Now, Jimmy knows every loan shark in this town. Not a word about Markham. No, maybe that's not the answer. No, it's the answer. We just haven't come up with the right combination. Here, I'll take it. Thank you. Well, what about uh, beef? Isn't that what part this is all about? I checked through R and I. Locally, there hasn't been a theft or a hijacking in the last three months. And Bill checked with CII and he came up with something pretty interesting. Strangely enough, there's been an upsurge in cattle rustling, especially in Central California. Really? Yeah. Anybody here know anything about cattle rustling? 
You're not going to believe this. You're kidding. Back in Montana? No, Wyoming. You rustled cattle, right? I can at least tell you how it was when I was a kid. But it's got to be a little bit different now, Pam. Just a little? Well, it is. Wyoming became a state. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I understand today that they rustle, slaughter, dress, and package all in 24 hours. I do know somebody. Yeah, an old hand in the cattle business. Yeah, he'd know. I could drive up tonight. Why don't you? Look at her, isn't she beautiful? They tell you that down at Wicked City? Only the wicked ones like mm. you. I'll bet. How's Aunt Helen? I sensed on the phone she wasn't too good. No, she's not too bad, not too bad. She's just dying to see you. She's been on pins and needles since you phoned. Oh, and watch the tiles now. We're trying to fix this old barn up. We're no. not getting any help from the landlord, you know. So really watch yourself now, okay? okay? Now I'll come back and I'll get your bags later. Now watch your step. Okay. You look great. Yeah, I feel good. Oh. oh, Uncle Ben, it's charming. Well, you can thank your Aunt Helen for that. Oh, it's... Uh, Aunt Helen. Dear Pepper. Oh, it was so sweet of you to come. Oh, you look wonderful. Beautiful. Well, you two have a nice visit. I'll go get your bag. Now, you stop that nonsense about me looking so wonderful. I look awful, and you know it. But I feel better than I look, thank goodness. And that's something. You know, I don't believe what I smell. You better believe. Where is it? In the kitchen, cooling on the cupboard. Oh, Helen. The bluest and the juiciest. I remember a little girl once in Wyoming who used to eat blueberry pies till she got the worst mm. tummy ache imaginable. <laughs> they were worth it. Oh, Helen. Association. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to anything. Well, Ray, since you're here, I assume you're interested in my proposition. That, uh, that's correct, Mr. Galloway. Willie, sit down. Oh. Willie. Well, how many thousand pounds to start? Uh, two? That's not even a dozen head. I'd suggest three. Okay, 3,000 pounds. Dressed. Where, where do I sign? Ah, your handshake's good enough for me. I'll be in touch. It's a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Uh, Willie. Good night. Night. Monk, uh, take Mr. Roberts back to his restaurant. Huh? Seventeen, eighteen head. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Say, you know, 
Colonel Butler, you rode that horse real good for a police sergeant. What? Look who shot me. Well, that's true enough. <laughs> you're such a funny little thing. All the skin and bones and eyes. And stubborn. Uh, determination, yeah. Uncle Ben. Well, I guess that's the word for it out of the book. <laughs> You'd fall off five or six times, climb right back on again. Tears streaming down your and cuss them. <laughs> Never heard a little girl with words like that. I wonder where you learn them. Well, I could tell you that, too, if you really want to know. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. But, you know, it was real fun today, just riding for the hell of it. Haven't done that in a long time. You know, riding alone isn't much fun. How sick is that, Helen? I mean, she looks so pale. At dinner, she only said that she had this kidney thing. Well, now, you know, she'd raise the roof. She knew I was talking about it. But I've got to tell somebody, Pepper. You know, she lost that kidney last year. Mm -hmm. Well, the one she's got left ain't working so good, and I've got to take her down to the hospital once a week and put her in that machine. Dialysis? Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's expensive. Yeah, and you know, we don't have any insurance to speak of, so I sold that spread we had in Nevada, and we moved here. And there's a little work here and there for an old cow hand, so between that and the money from the place, we get by. Now, don't you look so sad-eyed. Glad to get it off my chest. I feel better. <laughs> now, tell me about you. I mean, about your life. What's happening? I'll, I'm still single, if that's what you're wondering. That's what I mean. Now, look. I promised you a little shooting, right? Yeah. You're gonna have a little shooting. I mean, after that boasting you were doing last night about being in the top 20 of the police department. That wasn't boasting. It's just a fact. Oh, I see. Well, what'll it be? Cans or bottles? Uh, bottles. Hey, well, what do you call that? You didn't learn that from me. Yeah. You couldn't hit the side of a barn with that. Come on, ready? Well, Come on. Well, Try that, huh? Yeah, here, here, let me show you. Huh. What you oh, you're... come on. <laughs> hey. That was great. Uncle Ben. Yeah. Uh, with Helen feeling like she was. I didn't want to sit around talking about rustling at dinner, um, but I, uh, I need your help, uh, mainly your expertise. Well, sure, Pepper, but why? Well, I'm working on a case right now, and our only lead is stolen beef. Now, the crime reports indicate that uh, it's probably cattle rustling. How, how would a person go about moving stolen cattle these days and not get caught? Well, now, it seems to me Fellow find a real big spread, you know, some place where they're on 20, 25,000 head. That way, a couple of dozen wouldn't be missed right away. Mm -hmm. uh, well, then where would he go with them? You can't uh, drive a bunch of cattle down the middle of the highway, broad daylight or at night for that matter. <laughs> well, I heard tell a couple of different ways. One way is you put a couple of head in a padded van and you drive it to a secret slaughterhouse. You dress the meat up, you get rid of the hides right away because of the brand, and then you transfer the meat to a refrigerator truck. That's about it. Sure. Of course. It's very simple. The meat goes to a packing house in some city. I reckon. What do you do then? You sell it to whoever uses a lot of beef, uh, like a chain of restaurants, for instance, or a lot of market. Is that it? I said it would be kind of a hard operation to track down with all those meatpacking houses you got down in your city. It's a starting point, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's getting on to about three. Better put those horses away and get up to the house. I got to take Helen down to the hospital this afternoon. Yeah, I'd best be getting to. You'll be coming back real soon now, yeah? First chance I get, really. 
sure love to see you. And I want to meet this Crowley you keep talking about. <laughs> You'll like him. <laughs> Turn his head. Listen, I know my job, and I'm gonna do it. You don't have a job. Not with me. Not ever. Here's your money. Get lost. Packers the middleman and he sells the beef to whoever wants to buy it, cut rate of course. He doesn't even have to be a packer, probably isn't. All he has to have is a packing house to store the meat in. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, where do I start? The uh, California Cattlemen's Association sent me 10 pages of wholesale meat distributors. Why don't you start at the top of page one? Hey, Joe, catch. You found it. Now what I want to know is, who manufactured it and who purchased it? Yeah, well, that sounds like a lot of fun. You know, there's no name brand on this thing. That's why you're going to take it out of the sound lab, and they're going to dismantle it, and then they're going to tell you who manufactured it. Yeah, OK. All right, little fella. Let's go look into your past life and see what we can come up with. Well, at the risk of getting a bonus here, I think I'm going to check this list and see if anything's changed in this <laughs> Ben said that rustlers would probably hit the large ranches where a few missing head of cattle wouldn't be noticed, but I don't know. What are you talking about? Well, with the price of beef what it is, I think most ranchers would know exactly how many steers they had. Sure, they'd probably go out and count them every few days. Who do you report it to if you come up short of steers? I'll call CII and have them check out Bakersfield and Fresno. Yeah, why don't you do that? As soon as you make a fresh pot of coffee. Why do I always have to make the coffee? Because you're here.
Hey, Gourley. It's a pleasure, Ben. You and your men do nice work. So you can Dolly Maxwell, huh? He thinks he's Billy the Kid. So you made an enemy. Gotta watch your back. Hey, now that's real smooth. How about another little dollop? Sure. How's the missus? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Who's gonna help? Yeah, well, we got a real good customer now, Ben. I'll need another shipment from you in a week or ten days, and after that, more, probably on a regular basis. How's that sound to you? What do you think you say? Can I use your phone? Sure, go ahead. You, know, you want a little head on it? No, oh, man. You know, uh, as long as I'm in town, invite somebody to dinner. Yeah, hello. I'd like to speak to Pepper Anderson, please. That's all right. I'll wait. Hey, how much longer is this going to take? It's going to take a while. Look, 3,000 pounds is a lot of meat. Just relax, Roberts. Yeah, I'm trying to, but there's still a couple of cops in the place. Cops? Yeah, don't worry. They're friends of mine. They come here all the time. Well, you can say what you want about elephant having the best memory, but don't compare with a bronc. <laughs> Hard nose, he was called, and rightly so. He knew me, that's a fact, and he hated me. Woo! First time I was up, I rode him right to a stop. Nobody's ever done that before. I think I hurt his pride. <laughs> <laughs> So ever after that, no matter what the rodeo was, Mail Square Garden, Pendleton, when I'd go walking by the stalls, he'd start hollering bloody murder. <laughs> he was cursing at me, that's a fact, and threatening. <laughs> and I was hoping to draw him again, you know, for another bronc busting contest. Year after year, it just never worked. Never worked. Folks, a little more coffee or some brandy? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, say, I'm sorry, Ray, I got talking here. I didn't realize how late it was. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Ben. Now, you folks just stay and talk as long as you like. I got some paperwork to catch up on in the back, so uh, if you need anything, just yell. Thanks, Ray. I'll uh, just leave these here. Oh, sorry. You know, hey, <clears throat> guys, you know, it's 2 o'clock. <laughs> ben, I'm a working man. Uh, can't we just stay till... Let's hear the rest of the story, okay? Well, anyhow, I was pretty busted up by then, you know. I uh, figured to quit rodeos altogether, you know. And, but there was one big one still at Mount Square Garden. <laughs> you know, I got second in camp open. I wasn't even expecting that. So I was walking out, going by the stalls, and I hear this big scream. That's right. It was old hard nose. <laughs> of course, he was pretty old by then. Must have been about 15, you know. Just a workhorse, wasn't buck horse no more. Kind of broken up just like your old Uncle Ben. <laughs> so, anyway, I got up on him. And I'm sitting there in his old sway back. He could hardly move, let alone buck, but he tried. You know what I done? You know what I done? I fell right off him. Well, you never saw a happier horse in all your life. He just laughed. He laughed. <laughs> yeah. So I bought him. I bought old Hardos and I took him back to my place. And we kind of hung around together all the time then. Till he died. You know, you're a sentimental old cowboy. That's what you are. company that was obvious in your front, Pacific West Security Systems. I went to the address, found out he'd been out of business a year and a half. That's lucky. Recognize him? He looks familiar. Refresh my memory. Refresh his memory, Pete. Well, you should remember him. You busted him yourself about five years ago. Sure, William Galloway. He was the middleman in that big hijacking night, right? You got it. Only he took a walk because none of his Confederates would testify against him. 
This is the bug, huh? He was Pacific West Security. Intelligence says it was a front for a loan sharking operation. Don't tell me. Pacific West Security is now Pacific West Meatpackers. You got it. This is harassment, Crowley, and you know it. I'm sure you feel that way, Galloway. I'm sure you are. I told you before I don't know anything about how Al Markham died. I'm easy to convince. All you got to do is just uh, give me permission to come in and have a look around. Get out of here. Go on, get out. You want to look around, get a search warrant. You know something, friend? I'm going to get you one day. I mean, one day you're going to make a little mistake, and I'm going to be right there. That's threatening and intimidating, Lieutenant. The law's against that, you know? Yeah, well, when you get the State Bar Association to reinstate you, then I'll uh, let you tell me about it. In the meantime, it's Sergeant. Still? After all these years on the force, how about that? Can you imagine those turkeys coming in here without a parking lot? Well, Willie, maybe you better get out of the meat business for a while. What do you Are think? Are you crazy? I never saw so much money in an operation. Don't worry. Don't worry. I think we're smart enough to stay ahead of Crowley and the rest of those stumble bums. Yeah, where we have trouble, though, is Ollie Maxwell. What do you mean? Well, he went into the business on his own. Between he and Ben Fletcher working both sides of the street. It's about to bring heat. Suppose, just suppose, we get the two of them together one more time. And? Uh, may the better man he made victorious. I think that's the expression. Yes, sir. The commissioner read your follow-up report. He thinks it's uh, Galloway, too. He wants us to put a surveillance on him. I can be moving now. Why don't you tell the commissioner? Ray Roberts. He buys a lot of beef. Why don't we get him to buy from Galloway? Sure, so why not? Get off my back. No, I can't. Pepper, you don't realize what you're asking yep, me to do. I, I do. I realize. I know it's tough. But we think Galloway had Al Markham murdered. Well, what can I do about it? You can help us. Ray, what we figure is Galloway was pressuring Al Markham into buying stolen beef. We want you to spread the word that you're interested in the same kind of deal. I already bought a load of beef from them. How did that come about? Galloway came in here and told me he and Al had a prior deal. And quite frankly, the price was right. So right that it might have been stolen? So right that with these people, you don't ask questions. You don't want to cooperate with us, do you? You really think Galloway had Al killed? I think we'd like to find out. You'll have to do it without my help, Ever. I've got a wife and a baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, hello. Hello, Ben. It's me, Willie. We got trouble. What kind? Your old friend, Ali Maxwell. He rustled a truckload of beef. And that figures, so what? So what? So what? It was 50 head. Besides, he's an amateur. He'll get caught. He'll turn over on us in a flat minute. You want to spend 10 years in jail for cattle wrestling? Hey, you know, I just might have a notion. Yeah? About what? Well, I know where Maxwell's going first. Might be I could discourage him. Somebody has to, Ben. We both know that. Now, about that meat. Oh, you'll get it. You'll get it, Willie. I knew I could count on you, Ben. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Well, young lady. I know. I'm supposed to be sleeping. Ah, doctors. Can't get enough rest in your condition, Miss Fletcher. <laughs> now, you got to understand that. There's only one trouble with all that rest. You know, Ben? What's that? Gets to be real tiring. And I don't get to see enough of you, as I do when my eyes are not shut. So I miss you that much more. Now, darling, I see as much as I can. Don't I know that? There's no husband better than you, Ben Fletcher. Hey, I wasn't fishing for any compliments. Happens to be the truth. It also happens that I'm the luckiest woman I've ever known. 
And don't tell me you don't like a sweet word in your ear. Hey, I'd like another one of those. Okay. Okay. For now. <laughs> Who was that on the phone? Oh, business. Serious business? <laughs> Do I look serious? <laughs> you did. A little when I came in. Routine! Hey, darling, what's the matter? I was just thinking how there's nothing routine in all those medical bills you've been paying for the last year. Come on, now, I told you. I don't want to hear any more talk about that, you understand? Dear Pepper, these must have cost her a fortune. Still the same beautiful good girl, hmm? <laughs> I don't know when I've had a better time in years. <laughs> All those stories about her cases, three men she works with. And she said something about you. Something I thought that I was the only one who saw in you. I'm getting better looking every year. It was a lot deeper than that, Ben. She said, he gets to be even more of a real man. More tender, more loving. Hey, getting about that time. What do you say we go in the bedroom and both of us get some of that famous rest of yours, huh? Hmm? You know you're gonna get us all busted. I was just looking in that truck of yours. There ain't a rancher in the whole state ain't gonna miss 50 head. Don't jump to conclusions, Fletcher. I got that from five different spreads. All right, 50 head in the same county. You know, Galloway was right about you. You're an amateur. You put that thing down, I'm gonna take your truck. I can, like, kill you all. <laughs> instead, yeah. 
Well, there's been some big changes. Well, I don't want to talk business with you. I mean, that's, that's just a bore, you know. Hey, how do you feel? Good, real good. <coughs> no, no, no. I'm, maybe I'll catch a little cold, you know, my throat's a little sore. But you know, I'm, I'm fine, I'm all right. Yeah. Well, I guess I'd better be getting along now. Say, Helen, something I want to say first. I love you, Helen. With all my heart. I love you. Sure. I'll say it word for word when I get home. Now, did you ever know when I didn't keep a promise? Now, don't you start that now. I love you, Helen. I'll see you. Yeah, real soon. Okay, we'll have a suspect in custody for you. Call you later. That was Gaynor from the Fresno Sheriff's Office. Well, they found the body. A guy named Dolly Maxwell. General Callahan in that area for years. So, uh, what's next? I think this whole thing's gonna come together in the next couple hours. Does Pepper know? No. And I don't want to be the one to tell her. Where's your bar? A uh, small time hood out of San Diego runs a string of restaurants. He's gonna take it. What'd you do with Maxwell? You buried him. You want that beef at Markham's restaurant tonight after two, right? That's right. He looks at the beef, we get our box, and he's on his way back to San Diego. Whatever you guys want. with the meat truck. Looks like things are just about ready to go down. Roger, 90. Pepper and I are en route. Let's go. There's no city here. Killed with a 45 caliber revolver. That's right. We got an investigator who'll be down tomorrow taking him to custody. Yeah. If you were going any other place in the world. What the hell's going on here tonight? I don't get you. Galloway's out there with a couple of heavy looking dudes from San Diego or someplace. Look, I never bargained for anything like this. Customers all gone? Yeah. You and the hell get out of here. Keep that back door unlocked. Ben, what's going on? Good night. Turn that back. Oh, Duran, this is Ben Fletcher, our supplier. Mm. There you go, Ben. As usual, cash mm. on delivery. Yeah. Cowboy, you got good taste in beef. Uh, sit down, join us. No, 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 thanks. I'll go over there and pour myself a drink. As soon as you check out the delivery, I'll get... Pleasure. Go have a look-see. It's out back. Be quick now. You don't want to sitting around. Right. 
Squad Wide 50. They're in the truck now. 50. Yeah, we've seen them. You take the truck, we'll take the inside. Got it. All right, you do? You beat dinner and that beat this in the truck. Get on down. Come on. Police officers, get your hands on the table. Get them up there where I can see them. Come on, let's go. Get them up. Don't you let her win those insurance papers. She won't. That's all she's got. She won't. Thank you. 